And as far as Trish, I you might see a little dancing, but it's it's in a different way than um, <laughs> than what uh, than what these beautiful dancers are doing around her. But rapping, I don't know this season. You're gonna have to watch. It's gonna be sick. oh man, don't don't play with me. You, <laughs> I can't give you all the tea. I got I gotta keep I gotta keep the audience one more otherwise I'm giving everything away so I gotta I gotta you know I gotta drop a little breadcrumbs here and there y'all go ahead and watch it it's <laughs> I'm flushing these. Do you want me to get you a toothbrush or a toilet no, freezer? I'm going to summer camp, baby. I'm going to jail. I don't know. What is our online banking password? Baby, I'm not going to yell that on the street. Happy New Year. Look, I called my mom. She said you and Sean can move over there with her and Trish. Hello? Hey! hey. Are you staying? I'm going to figure it out. I can't survive too many days with your sister. I just bought a new grill. Hey, girls. Like Hi, Mama Ray. Why are you so naked all the time? Wearing pants in the house is stupid, okay? I feel liberated. Okay? I want to feel free at home. What? Well, how do you feel at work then? Expensive. All right, so hello, hello. I'm Sophia Lenore from The Prestige Magazine and host of Candid and Diverse. So today I'm super excited to be chatting with the actress Jalen Barron, one of the gorgeous and talented stars of the new Stars play series, blind spotting. Oh my goodness, Jalen. Ah, it's so wonderful to finally meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you for having me. Oh, wonderful. I'm just really, really excited. So first and foremost, I must say that I love the show, especially your character, Trish, who is my absolute favorite. <laughs> she is so unfiltered, opinionated, and strong-willed. So I'd like to talk to you a bit about yourself, the show, and your character, Trish. Is that okay? That sounds good to me. All right, let's get on in. So I'd like to start by giving our viewers and readers a bit of background about yourself. So from what I've read online, you are originally from Nevada, uh, but you relocated to Los Angeles to begin your acting career. And you come from a multicultural family. Your mother is Mexican and your father is black. Is that correct? No. <laughs> oh, please. Please, because I want to make sure we get this right. <laughs> that's what I saw online. <laughs> okay, it's okay. I, we have to change that. I think I think they just changed it probably like a couple days ago. Um, <laughs> okay. So I'm originally from La Puente, California. <gasps> okay. okay. So like near West Covina. It's east mm -hmm. of LA. And then um, when I was younger, from La Puente, I moved mm -hmm. to an empire. So I'm from Fontana, oh. California. So the IE. Okay. Shout out. Shout out the IE. And so, yeah, I've been in California my whole life, but I am Mexican and Black. I know, I can't, okay. Thank you so much for clearing that out because I just I just have to say, when I was doing my research on you I, and I was trying to discover, well, you know, what's this background, what's this mix? But when I did see that, you know, Black and Mexican, I was like, I said to myself, okay, so that is where the spiciness come from. <laughs> That is why Trish is so dope. Yes. <laughs> Seriously. Yes. Uh, Man. The best, the best of both worlds. Precisely. Precisely. Wow. Well, well Jalen, can you please tell our viewers and readers a bit about your character, Miss Trish, the entrepreneur? Oh <laughs> what kind of woman is Trish? Trish. Uh, what are her aspirations, her goals? Let us know. Miss Trishy, Trishy, Trish. Miss Trish. <laughs> um, how, where can I even start with her? She is extremely loyal. She is very, very, um, I want to say she's, she's almost like a, She's very dimensional, okay? She has a lot of different layers to her. You never know what you're gonna get in each scene. So I don't know if you watched the first episode, but <laughs> one, 
she's in one scene she's cussing out Ashley but then in the next one when Ashley has the whole vibrator thing going on she's like yeah girl get it so it's like wait does she love Ashley does she not and the truth is she does love Ashley she's just hurt by her um but Trish is fun and she's loyal she loves her family no matter what obviously you can see from the first episode and she gets things done that's really what I love about Trish Oh man, you're so right. She, you know, she does get things done. No matter what, in her own way, yes. she gets what she wants. She makes it happen. I love that. And I mean, I would love to also talk a bit about these cool dance breaks and like poetry slam sessions that appear on the show. Yes. Uh, what is the show trying to convey to the viewers in these scenes through the use of dance and poetry? And can we expect some dance, extra dance, or some dope? poetry or some dope freestyle rap from Trish in upcoming episodes? Mm, okay, so <laughs> I'm going to answer. Okay, so the first part of the question, I feel like um, the way they're expressing their dance and yes. the, um, the poetry is all out of emotion. So everything that Ashley is feeling inward, they're projecting outward. So not only is the audience seeing her emotions on her face, but mm -hmm. everything around her. So if you notice, say in the moving scene with the um, with the movers, yes. the movers, yes, it's exciting time. It's something different. You know, she's hesitant, but you know, she's like, okay, we're gonna have to get this done. We're gonna have to get it started. So if you notice, they're all moving around fast and you know having these beautiful expressions on their face. And then when she's in. Um, the penitentiary visiting miles it's sad and so their hands are on the on the window and they yes. have these expressions and these slow movements going on so i think they do a really great job of expressing her emotions outward so it, it kind of brings you a little bit more not only is she acting but there's it's music going on around her there's yes. sounds going on around her movement going on around her and i think that's also what drew me to the script is that aspect of dancing and poetry like i've never seen a show do that before so i was really yeah. happy that everybody got to see that and as far as trish i you might see a little dancing, but it's it's in a different way than um, <laughs> than what uh, than what these beautiful dancers are doing around her. But rapping, I don't know this season. You're gonna have to watch. It's gonna be sick. oh man, don't don't play with me. <laughs> I, I can't give you all the tea. I got I gotta keep I gotta keep the audience one more. Otherwise, I'm giving everything away. So I gotta I gotta you know I gotta drop a little breadcrumbs here and there. Y'all go ahead and watch it. it <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love that's what I'm anticipating. I'm like, if she busts out in a freestyle, oh, I'm about to be Trish fan number one. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. Oh man, 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 man. Well, I mean, well, moving forward into you know the upcoming seasons and such, because I mean I love the pilot, but how do you see things evolving with Trish and Ashley? Will there be more um, vicious yet hilarious <laughs> fights between the two ladies? Or will they learn to truly love each other and live in harmony? You know, I know you, you mentioned earlier that, you know, you do love Ashley. It's just, you know, it's very under the, the surface right now. <laughs> exactly. I mean, like I said, you never know what you're going to get with Trish, but you can expect Trish to try and mature. Yeah. And as well as actually try and mature and understand each other's perspective. Of course, they're like sisters. There's going to be fights. There's going to be disagreements True. like any other family. But, you know, where I'd want to see Trish go is growing and learning and maybe um, being a little bit more sound with her surroundings, yes. you know? And I would love, love, love to see Trish maybe... Um, I'd like to see Trish try and get like a, a, a regular job just for fun. I'd want to see how she would handle that. I want to see like what she would think of customer service or something like that. That would be, that'd be pretty cool. Like just off of her doing it as a joke. <laughs> That's actually perfect because that segues into my next question because I was actually going to ask you, what can we expect from Trish as the season unfolds? Will she be able to build her empire <laughs> or will she possibly stumble back into exotic dancing now, or will she be able to evolve into what you might what you're saying a businesswoman or particularly have a regular job <laughs> you give this away 
You know I can't do it. Look, I gotta try. <laughs> I understand that, and you know the way you're wording these questions. I'm like, I guess I can answer that, but I'm like, wait, no, hang on a second. I need you try. It wasn't for nothing. Now, no, I'm just kidding. But, <laughs> but um, you know, I would say the best way I can answer this question is mm -hmm. she will make it happen, one way or another she'll make it happen. But you know, then that brings us just to, you know, hopefully if there's a season two, that'll bring us to a season two. You guys will just have to watch Trisha's little roller coaster of emotions and her 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 whole game plan unfold. So oh man, there better be a season two. <laughs> Cause I'm a That's man. What I'm look, look, I'm I'm I, I'm ready for another bag. <laughs> done you know that's what i'm saying season two let's do it there better be because i'm so addicted to trish so seriously i did you team like, trish did you like um didn't you love that scene with candace in the kitchen and this with her spatula did you see that? Right. <laughs> yeah <laughs> Tell you that girl is so good and she's so real with what she's talking about yeah man yeah yeah I really, I mean, what I have to say in regards to the show, I really love that you never really know how the scene is even going to play out. You, you absolutely never know what the hell is going to come out of Trisha's mouth, but <laughs> how she's going to respond. I asked her before, I'm like, is she a Gemini? Like, is this woman a Gemini? Is she a Gemini woman? Because I'm getting real Gemini vibes from her. No, no, she's a, she's a Sagittarius. Okay. We gotta find out what her rising moon is and <laughs> all these other things. <laughs> oh man. Well, I have to say, well, Jalen, thank you so much for chatting with me today. It was so wonderful talking to you about the series and about the strong, opinionated, driven character that you play in Miss Trish. Oh man. Well, I want to just tell everybody that Blind Spotting premieres on June 13th, and you can watch a new episode of Blind Spotting every Sunday night on Stars Play. So make sure you mark your calendars and visit stars and starsplay.com for more information. Yes, Jayla. <laughs> ah, thank you so much. It was wonderful chatting with you. And we can't wait to have more, 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 and more of Trish. She's delicious, like you said. <laughs> thank you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.